Hey guys, I wanted to do a pretty quick, simple, budget bug out bag. Not even a bug out bag, but a get home bag. So, the scenario I'm thinking is I live about 15, 18 miles from work and something happens and I just need to get home really quickly or as quickly as I can walking without my vehicle and I figure it's going to take me somewhere in the neighborhood of less than you know 10 to 12 hours um I'm not thinking you know like zombie apocalypse kind of end of the world as we know it but just I need to get home um here in in the south the past couple years we we've had snow apocalypse and snow mageddon where we're not prepared for for snow and ice and people are stuck on the the highways and interstates for 24 hours things kind of like that um is is what i'm thinking for this bag in particular and i also wanted to do it with those those budget-minded people the you know the people that just like myself that you know you're living paycheck to paycheck and it, it's you got to do it you got to get what you can when you can so what I did is I went to Walmart and I spent $35 on um, what I thought the essentials were and the plan is to upgrade this bag every two weeks so that you know just like anybody else with with a budget um, you can spend 10 or 15 bucks maybe every two weeks because most people get paid every two weeks now and you can upgrade that bag so we'll go through it real quick this is a this is a 20 liter uh, dry bag uh, the outdoor outdoor products from Walmart and I've got everything in here except for my water I'll go ahead and let you guys know first off I went to Walmart and they usually have those cheap like two or three dollars stainless steel aluminum water bottles didn't have a single one in my Walmart so we'll go over the reasoning with a gallon later but that's my water um, so the dry bag the dry bag was the most expensive thing. It was like six bucks, um, and we'll just we'll dump it out, and we'll go through everything. Gloves. So warmth. Maybe maybe you um, you need to uh, to do a little bit of work or something. I think for the scenarios I'm thinking and i think this bag is best suited for gloves are probably not the highest priority these were like three bucks for two pairs so i've actually got another pair in the house seven mil drop cloth this is nine by twelve you can make an impromptu shelter uh if you needed to i don't think that you're it, with this bag this is not a shelter in place bag this is a, a 12 to 24 hour bag to get you through some really tough times and get you home if you need to. But there's shelter. Got a poncho. This thing was like 79 cents or something. Um, if you're walking, might as well, if you're walking in the rain, try to stay as dry as you can. Orange bandana. Things a dollar. Bandanas have a hundred thousand uses, I'm sure. Um, everybody, if... There's good videos on YouTube about the the uses of bandanas. Three cliff bars because you gotta you gotta have some energy if you're walking. The cheap I got the stacker too because they were cheaper than the five hour energy, um, and just a little extra caffeine to keep you going. The Slim Jim with the cheese because protein and cheese always makes people feel better. And like I said, you need that energy. Wet ones because uh, it's always nice to to clean up or or do something just to make you feel normal as you're you're going through the 
the long walk home. This is 40 feet of rope. Um, it's it's very lightweight rope. This is the spool that it came on. It was like a dollar ninety seven. Um, but this, along with this, could be your shelter. Um, you can also, you know, if you, your belt broke and you while you're walking home, you can make a new belt. Um, the knife. So I'll admit this is the cheapest knife I've ever seen in my life. This was eighty eight cents. Um, I don't necessarily want to risk my life with this knife. I wouldn't want to go out in the woods and survive with it. But if I'm walking 18 miles home and I need to cut this, this rope or something, this knife will do it. It's got that forever sharp kind of old school Ginsu edge that you can't sharpen if you wanted to. And I mean, it's, I think for a, a use it one day and get you home to some better stuff, maybe this will work. Um, not my favorite knife, but it'll work. First aid wise, they didn't have a cheap first aid kit at all. Remember, this is a $35 bag. So I got some band-aids. This could be some blister stuff. Uh, you can put them on your heels, on your toes, trying to stave off some blisters, and gold bond powder. Everybody knows if you're walking, you're not used to it, this stuff, you can't beat gold bond. Put it on before you start walking and prevent some heartache later. Um, I also have an, uh, an ace bandage for the first aid because you may twist an ankle. Uh, you can use it for a a tourniquet if you just had to and pulled it really really tight but I think the bandana would be a better use for that everybody loves the zebra compact I'm sure but if you're stuck I guess I'll get the right in you can use this as a signal mirror um, signal mirrors at Walmart were like five bucks this thing was a dollar seventy nine or something like that uh, I think this would work in a in a had to situation. Everybody needs fire just in case, uh, and I'm gonna keep it in the plastic because I think it protects it a little bit, even though it's in the dry bag. Uh, a lighter's always good. Hand warmers because if it's like snow apocalypse here in the south, you need to stay warm. Those can slip down in those gloves and you'll feel a lot better walking down the road. This, um, to be honest, I thought this had matches in it because when I read it, I read it incorrectly, but it does have a compass that halfway works if you hold it right. Um, it also has a signal mirror in it. It has a whistle. Um, you can put it around your neck and you can also store some matches in it. I feel like everybody's probably got some matches at home, but I didn't buy them, so I didn't put them in here. Um, but as we go through the next few weeks and upgrade this bag, we may put matches in here. Um, the other, the last thing on in the bag is a flashlight. This thing was a dollar. I actually bought two of them. Uh, tax in all, this bag was like thirty-seven dollars, but. The flashlight, I bought two flashlights for a dollar. I was going to put the other one in, in the bag too, but some sorry ass at Walmart stole one of the batteries out of it, and it doesn't work. I should have clicked it on, but it doesn't work, so I got to put another battery in it. Um, but that that's pretty much the bag. The reason I went with a gallon, like I said, we didn't have any containers that would fit the budget plus if you're walking you need to drink tons of water anyway so you're going to be drinking this the whole way home it's going to get lighter as you go i i walked around with it for a little a little bit uh, a day or so ago and i think the gallon works it gets you the most water for the least money so over the next few weeks i think every two weeks i will upload an addition to this bag where I'm going to you know, upgrade the knife, 
upgrade the shelter, maybe add upgrade first aid. First aid will probably be the first upgrade. Um, but I think I will spend 10 or 15 bucks every two weeks to do that. So I'm, I'm actually going to drive around with this in my car. I will use it if I need to. Um, but if there's anything, anything that I left out, which I know there is, but suggest some stuff, help me out. Um, post your ideas, do, do replies. This, the more ideas we can get, the better off we are. Um, I think food and sort of comfort on a long walk home in the scenarios I'm thinking of is the highest priority. So that's where I prioritize first, but Appreciate you watching. Uh, if you think anything, let me know. Have a good day.